Hello and welcome to the Stampex Spink sponsored virtual viewing. Uh, I'm here today to talk to you about the Doyen collection on the 3rd of October. That's tomorrow, Saturday, starting at 10 a.m. Now, this sale is littered with the world's greatest rarities. Um, but I want to talk to you today about some of my favorites and some of the more accessible. Uh, I've also got a macro lens to the right of me so I can show you the condition of the stamps as we talk. First up, I want to talk about lot 1028, which is the Cayman Islands 1907 halfpenny on five shilling. And this, of course, I'm sure you'll all recognize it, the example with the surcharge omitted. I'm going to show you on the camera to my right. You can see it's really quite a striking variety. And this one, there are only four known or four believed to, know, to be known existing in the world. Uh, one of them, of course, gracing Her Majesty the Queen's collection. And I'll show you on the back here, it's exactly as you'd expect this stamp to come. One of the world's greatest rarities. And it's in the Doyen collection at 30 to 40,000. That against the catalog price of 100,000. 100, so there to be taken. And moving on to lot 1042, another of my favourites. This time we move on to the Falkland Islands. Let me go through here. This is, and again, you'll all know this stamp, the Centenary 5 Bob with the iconic penguin design. And this, the black and yellow orange shade, shade, but in a horizontal pair, which again is really quite a beautiful item. With the selvage at the left and what looks like an expert signature there. And on the back, you can see just a few traces of browning, but really a very special item there. And that comes with a BPA certificate of 1970 and a very reasonable estimate of 1,000 to 1,500. Moving on to, as this is a world sale, we have Italy and lot 1090. This is one of the more interesting lots in the sale, I think, in terms of its history. Get to the relevant page. This is the 1933 unissued triptych uh, for the return flight of General Balbo's uh, flight. Uh, he was going, he's due to return from New York to Roma, as you can see. Uh, and someone had the idea of issuing this stamp for that return journey. Uh, for whatever reason, the stamp was never issued with this overprint, Volo di Ritorno, New York, Roma. Um, but a number of these stamps were printed uh, and they're very collectible. I'll show you the reverse here. It's actually in very nice condition, uh, an unmounted mint. Let's try and catch the light for you. And that carries an estimate of four to 5,000 against um, catalog price into Sony of 67,500 euros. So again, really attractive, come and get the price, a rare stamp. And that comes with Enzo Diana's certificate, one of the most renowned experts. And we move on to lot 1126. This gracing the front of the catalog uh, with good reason. It's the Kenya, Uganda, and Tanganyika 1922-27 high value, 75 pounds from plate number one and with the plate number. Signed at the top, A. Diena, as he does with all the greatest stamps. And I'll show you up close here. One of the most exciting stamps you're likely to see. And the market for these stamps at the moment, as we've just seen with the Lionheart sale, it's very strong. We're expecting this to go for a, a handsome sum. Show you the reverse there. And you'll see 
the perfs at the top are just coming away um, but really of, of very little consequence here it's such an important stamp um, and we're all very excited to see that sell tomorrow and away from the colonies again two very special stamps that I think have an integral history to them um, it's lots 1171 and 1172 to the pages in my catalogue. Yes, the Netherlands 1926 to 39 issue uh, with the values omitted. It would be a nine cent stamp with the nine cent at the bottom. But these, as you can see, have the value tablet completely blank. Very striking variety on what is, I think, already a very attractive stamp. Um, these, this error only ever happened to one sheet printed, and down the first uh, first column of of that sheet. So all of them have their uh, row numbers. This one being the very first printed number one, top of the sheet, and. You can see on the back there, it's in nice condition. And as if having number one wasn't enough, I can get there in time. We have the same variety, the third, third row there. So number one and number three from the sheet. Quite remarkable to have both. And those, yes, the first example carries an estimate of three to 4,000, being, I think, slightly nicer in condition. And the second example, an estimate of 2,000 to 3,000. And finally, I think probably my favorite loss in the sale, uh, one of a very nice section of, uh, 20th century Swiss stamps. Um, if I can just find the listing, it's lot 1245. And this is the 1938 Pro Aero issue. Uh, now, what's special about what I'm about to show you is that these were all printed and cancelled to order. Um, so they would be used on airmail flights for this Pro Aero week. 1938. Um, there are known a few uncancelled. They usually come in singles. I think there's probably a pair or two. But here we have a mint block of four. And again, what is, I think, an extremely attractive stamp already, you have one of the great rarities of modern Swiss airmails. And you can see on the reverse, it's in beautiful unmounted mint condition, signed on each stamp, and with all the certificates you'd hope to find. Marchand and Guido Balafi. So those among many very special stamps in the Doyen sale coming up on the 3rd of October on Saturday. Hope to see you all there. And don't forget, you can make any requests to view stamps via this virtual uh, platform, via the chat box. Thank you.